Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I'm back with another video for you. Today I'll be using the new Whimsy Stamp Slimline Dainty Daisies background stamp and the Sending Sunshine stamp set. So let's get started. First I'm going to stamp my Dainty Daisy background. I'm not using the Misty because the stamp is on the larger side and it doesn't quite fit in the Misty if you want to make a Slimline card. So I'm just going to ink it up with some white pigment ink and then use my embossing powder bag on the cardstock because I want to heat emboss the background. Then I lay my piece of cardstock right on top of it. You can use your hand to press down on it. I happen to have uh, this computer screen cleaning tool that works really awesome for this. So look for something you might already have in your house if you want to put more pressure on it. Then I very gently lift up the paper so that it doesn't smudge. Next, I cover the paper in white embossing powder, making sure to cover the whole entire cardstock since this is such a huge image. When my heat tool is good and hot, I heat emboss the background. Make sure to work from top to bottom since this is a very large image and it is white on white, so it's very easy to miss some spots. I ink blend the background with the new Distress Oxide Salvage Patina. I really like this color. I think it's so pretty. I just go around the entire paper until I ink blend over all the heat embossed daisy. When I'm done, I wipe the paper with a cloth to get all the ink off the embossed daisies to bring out the white outline of the flowers. I use the Whimsy Stamps Slimline Fancy Frame Die to make a decorative border. I tape it to the background and run it through my die cut machine. Then I tape together the two rectangle dies that come with the fancy frame set. I put the smaller one in the middle of the larger die and then I run it through my die cut machine. When it comes out, it gives you a rectangle border. Then I run the larger rectangle die through the machine by itself and then I glue the rectangle border to the top of it. Using the Whimsy Stamps Vertical Sentiments, I stamp the thank you sentiment with black ink onto the white rectangle. I didn't show it in the video, but I stamped some flowers from the Sending Sunshine stamp set and then used the dies to cut them out. I glue the daisy panel to a piece of cardstock that I cut to 8.5 by 7 and I scored it at 3.5 inches. I put two strips of foam tape on the back of the thank you panel to give it some dimension. If you didn't want to use foam tape, you could cut out three more rectangles from scrap paper and glue them to the back of it. And then I adhere it to the front panel of the card. Next, I take a piece of natural colored skinny twine and make figure eight loops going back and forth. I made about three loops on each side. Then I take another piece of twine and I tie a knot in the middle of the figure eight. I glue the twine to the top left corner of the white border. And then I glue the flower on top of the twine to cover the knot. I use my finger to hold it in place for about 30 seconds. I glue all the remaining flowers to the bottom right hand corner of the card. I just love to add sparkle to my cards, so I put some green gems in the middle of each of the flowers. I didn't want to add color to the words, but I didn't want to leave it white either. So I used my clear Wink of Stella pen to color in all of the letters. This really makes a difference in the card. It's hard to see on the camera, but it adds a lot of sparkle onto the word. That completes my card for today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos and new product releases. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.